Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So I've made a couple of decisions. One, um, I'm going to record one half decent length episode a night. I, I'm, my time is very short over the next few days, so rather than shortchanging the two episodes uh, like I did last night, what I want to do is I want to spend some time on uh, one episode, so one series per night. So tonight it'll be uh, Falcon Freeborn. Tomorrow we'll switch over and do uh, Night Witches. Um, just to give it a fair shake rather than just kind of cut things short. Uh, so you'll notice the financial report now is only 18 days away. I got everybody, I got everything fixed. Um, let's go to the mech bays real quick. So everything is fixed. Um, the Black Knight still hasn't been loaded out. I'm still not convinced that we're going to do anything with this thing yet. Um, simply because it's got that weapon in the arm that's using up like five tons or something. So... I think I would rather either sell this or just put it in storage and bring something else forward. But we do have a second lance that we can run right now. We have enough mechs for it. So, um, yeah, so there's that. And then I made a change to the uh, Direwolf, uh, a slight change. Uh, I took out the Hyper Assault Goss. I think for the heavier mech fighting, it's not really worth it uh, for the weight that we have. I want to do pinpoint damage. I want to be able to pull legs off and stuff. And that Hyper Assault Goss is just not doing it. So I left the two Goss rifles in because we do get the 20% damage bonus, which is pretty significant for them, plus accuracy and recoil reduction on them. Um, so I put in a weapon mount that we picked up last time um, just to get, because we lost one in this arm before. Um, and I put an ER large laser in and a uh, large uh, improved heavy laser in this arm. Uh, the heat had gone up a fair bit, but not so bad. I was able to mitigate it a fair bit. So heat sinking is 93, alpha strikes 103, uh, which we will be doing alpha striking pretty much most of the time with this thing, because that's what I do, right? Uh, put an e-cooling plus two in. So heat bank, uh, once we are able to get a clan exchanger, that'll free up another ton. Uh, so if we want to put another heat sink in, we've got the space to do it. We've got two slots left, so we can do that. Um, I like to pick up a laser AMS rather than using the AMS with ammo because then we can pull out case um, and the ammo and just put the laser AMS in. So that's another thing we got to do. Uh, I was able to put the uh, sensors tracker in for another plus one to hit, uh, which is awesome. Um, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so this thing should be like hammering people. Um, so I'm really hoping for that anyway. So we'll see how it goes. These Goth rifles should be hitting, see there's 75 damage plus 20%, is so another 15, so 90 damage each, 90 damage from the larger heavy, like large improved heavy laser uh, at close range. It does have a bit of a, a, a drop off, and I think, but not much. Um, and then the ER large for long, super long range firing if we need to fire from a distance, but it's also another pinpoint weapon, which has plus one, uh, laser accuracy, which is awesome. So yeah, overall it should be pretty good. I'm hoping, uh, we'll see how that, that works out. But, uh, today we're going to have a look at the map real quick here. Um, yeah, so yesterday we tried to work on this planet a little bit. Uh, and you notice Commissar is 115%. They were around 83 yesterday when we finished up. We tried to do a little sneaky, breaky stuff and flip this planet, but uh, the person that was on, the Commissar person that was on at the same time as us, managed to uh, sweep that out from under our feet, unfortunately. So we're still here. There's a few missions we can take, so we're going to take them today, hopefully whittle down this 115%. Comstar is doing a pretty darn good job of putting up some stiff resistance here. Uh, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, anyway, so it's kind of a good fight. So let's have a look at this. I was going to jump over here and try and help out at this planet. Um, it's 13 days away, but it's only a half-scale planet, so it's not really worth uh, worth going. If I was if I was just in it for flipping planets and stuff, playing by myself, uh, that's definitely what I'd be doing. I'd be hitting all the low-scale planets and just sweeping them if I could. But uh, we're in it for the fun. So uh, let's go to the contracts. And Brock Lanahan's here again. Does his own stunts, apparently. Um, and we've got uh, intelligence agent covert uh, operators captured by Comstar Patrol. So um, we got to go in and uh, rescue her, uh, and also pay a bonus if we can secure the data, which means we're going to be up against two lances. So we're going to take this one first. We're going to give this one to the main lance. So let's negotiate this, and we're going to go full salvage, of course, hoping that they've got some uh, clan gear on them. But we'll find out. All right, and we're going to take the main lance in, and let's just do this. All right. Okay, that's our exit point, eh? Oh, it's been quite a long time since we've played on this map. So, yeah, we've got an Alance arrayed across here, and then we've got reinforcements on this side. Should be pretty good, I think. Um...
Let's just move in slowly. I don't want to speed into this one, I don't think. I think I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I gotta keep. Rem I gotta remember that we've got this. We've got a supercharger on the Ultra Twenty uh, Mech. There's been so many times when I'm like, ah, we're out of position and we can't we can't do anything, but I keep forgetting we've got that supercharger that can put us right into battle really quickly. And with the Ultra Twenty, that means getting right behind somebody and taking them out fast. So let's make sure we do that this battle. Took it out the Dire Wolf. I left that one on that one time and got destroyed because I completely forgot I had it. All right, Raptor 2. All right, that's not promising, but at least it's not terrifying at the same time. What do we got here? Misery. I bet you it's going to be a Misery. Uh, a Raven. Okay. They're probably seeing us. So let's bring some Misery to this Misery. What do we got down here? King Crab. An Atlas. Ooh. And a Godzilla. We got Godzilla parts, guys. Um. Hmm. A little better on this guy. Goss, bunch of mediums, and a large. Four gosses. This is the guy we got to shoot at. Uh, he hasn't moved, so let's take the best shot we can get on him. And fire. Sure, get that last shot in there. Got a lock on me. Is that Lanschnicht? Ghost. I don't know why I thought it was Lanschnicht. Um, it's not going to give us the Godzilla, is it? Oh, it will over here, though. We're not going to push this. We're not going to move in unless we absolutely have to. So let's fire. Uh, warlording this. And we're going to shoot him. Okay, one hit. Just hoping for more than that. Uh, I think you're going to need to deal with the king crab, so let's get on this side. This battle, we needed all long range weapons, but not much we can do about it. We need staying power, too. Okay. Just trying to do some cheeky breaky stuff. It's the ghost. Yes, Commander. Let's take this really slow. On my way. Once we pull down the first big guy. Things will shift in our favor real quick. Um, yeah. We're going to jam, I know, but... Good hits, though. I mean, not great damage, but they were hits. That's all that matters. Soften them up. We're going to pull back. Try and get some cover. We don't have much room to pull back here, though, unfortunately. But Standing by. Let's get off that ice lake. Give us the ability to move back. Uh, finally got a good chance to fire. And we'll warlord, warlord this and we'll take it. And fire on this guy. Firing. Finally getting some good damage on him. Almost half armor now, which is good. We'll start punching holes through him in a minute. At this point I don't care about salvage. I just want to get mechs down. 
Eris. Okay. All right, Griff. Let's see what you can do. Can you get that Godzilla? I don't think so. All right. Let's. This is the Raptor. Yeah. No thanks. That's the ghost. Looks like this is the this is the guy we want here. Um, it's kind of weakly arm weak armored, elite gladiator, eh? Really? We all, let's hammer him. Nice. I think we can probably pull that guy down. Yeah, well, you want to spend time doing that? That's fine with me. As long as you ain't shooting those goddamn cross rifles. Fire and maneuver, baby. Fire and maneuver. This misery is going to take a, a, a double ultra 20. Almost in range of that king crab, but I don't want to go down there and fight him on my own. Or have Rhino fight her on her own. Once they get one of those light mechs with eyes on, or the medium mechs with eyes on, um, this battle's going to change change quickly. So we're going to have to pull them down as soon as they come within range. Duck behind the hill, rip them down, and then come back up for their next fight. Do, 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 we're waiting, 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 waiting. I don't mind, it gives us a better fight. The AI's taking its time, figuring things out. Um, I want you on that misery. Christ, if I move in though. Bad on the goss. Even bad on the misery. Let's just shoot him though. It's getting too close. Got the tag on him. Okay, Mockingbird. Um, we need to get that misery down if you don't mind. It's getting too close for my liking. Hammer him, please. Oh yeah, that's what I like, putting up some big numbers. Yes, eat that. Inflicted some heavy damage. You certainly did. He's taking a nap. There you go. Just rest, buddy. Rest it up. It's gonna shift a little bit. Targeting the misery. Let's go for the CT and get get him off the map board. It's nice that we're in this nice, cool environment. I don't have to worry about overheating. We can alpha the whole time. So I think that pulled a few eyes off. Christ, that Atlas. King Crab's woefully out of position. There's the Raptor. Gonna wish you never showed up, buddy. Gonna wish you never showed up. Commander? Let's take a moment. Give this raptor something to think about. Ah, Christ. Let's do this. You're being a naughty, naughty raptor. Copy that, Commander. See ya. Peeping Tom. Peeping Tom. God, that's a brutal loadout on that friggin' Mad Cat, I tell ya. Now, I don't know if this Atlas is gonna be able to see us back here. We're just gonna back up and we're gonna hammer him. Let him know we see him. Oh, he's got a pair of hammer fists. 
That's why you can move so quickly. We're gonna have to make sure we pull that guy down. Good to go. Yeah, back up, please. Aye, aye. I wonder if we can take his head off. King Crab's moving into to ultra uh, ultra twenty sprint range. Griff the stiff. Griff the stiff. What the hell? I clicked on this guy. What's going on? All right. Well, oh yeah, because we got the EMP on us. That'll solve the problem right there. Um, let's just shoot him. Yeah, man. Both Goss rifles hit. Yeah, man. Hopefully it was with. Hopefully it was the hammer fist. Christ, he's coming in strike range. I'd love to just go after his rear armor at this point, but my fear is that uh, well, if we can get this leg, we hit his foot. So if we can pull the leg off him, he's not going to be a threat. Machine gunnery heavy, incendiary ammo, 147 melee, 278 death from above damage. Ready for orders. Crazy shitbird. Um, can we get to the side of him? We can't. Pretty damn good chance. This guy's got a chainsaw? Who puts a chainsaw on a ghost? Crazy fuckers. Um, let's work on this guy's stability. Christ. <sighs> Just for the sake of argument. Oh shit! Da fuck, that's gonna cost me. Gotta shoot that guy's leg off, man. Shoot the leg off. Or I'm fucked. Well, I don't think you're gonna have a problem shooting that leg off. It is Mockingbird after all. Have a seat, buddy. Reporting critical hit. Christ. I've been having a problem with my hands for the past couple of days, too. And I clicked, and I thought I was going to be able to turn, but then I clicked, I double clicked it, and I moved. <sighs> I'm not even going to move. There's no point. Let's warlord this, give us the best chance of damage and everything, and let's take this guy's leg off. Because screw you. There we go. And I think we got Atlas parts. Pretty sure we do. I wonder if that Godzilla is in supercharger range. That King Krabs basically put himself completely out of position down here. So it's three for us, zero for them. Uh, that's an interesting move. Commander. Not interesting enough, though. That Godzilla is going to come around and shoot at us. So can we? We can get a side shot from here. We don't got the rack though, so it's almost not even worth it. Uh, let's move and give somebody else this position, and we'll head uh, over here and attack this ghost. It's going to be hard to hit, but we're going to do it. To save the war oh got tag on him nice we're gonna save the warlord for um when we have our rack up Ready for order. okay now we still got the supercharger on so 
Check out this. Look at this thing. So if I go here, I don't think the Godzilla is going to have a chance to get around that corner and get us. He says, just before he gets his ass killed. Turn the supercharger off. I don't think we need it for this. Uh, well, we probably will. I don't think so. Well, we're going to have a really hard time to hit that guy, though. All right, let's put the supercharger back on. Um, yeah, we can't get behind the king crab. Ah. Gives us the gus. Let's the Godzilla have a shot at it. Oh my God, we can get behind the Godzilla. I don't know. Do we go for? I think we go for the leg, guys. I think we do. Oh shit! What do we got back here? Ra oh, that that's where the Raven went. Okay. Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, see ya. Yeah, me too. I want Godzilla parts, baby. Nicely done. Nicely freaking done. Yeah, nope. Sure. Let's warlord this sucker. Just give this guy the what for. For a 70 ton, so for a 75 ton Mac, that uh, Timberwolf's got a good loadout. The double PPCs, double larges, double mediums. Gotta say, I'm really liking that loadout. All right, hammering. Two gas rifle hits, very nice. I think we set him back some initiative too. Nope, not enough. Lost an arm. He's pissed though. Did he lose an arm? Yeah, he did. Yes, Commander. He likes pulse lasers. Aye, aye. Let's show him why racks are better. See? Learned a lesson. Tango down. Reading you. Yeah, no point letting the air see us. Got some range on this guy. Take some pot shots. Yeah. That's a miss. Yeah. I think we can probably deal with that guy with the Ultra 20 here. So let's get the supercharger off. Copy that. Eh, fire. Ah, oh, we got the Warlord. Because why not? See ya. That hit something good. Oh, he's still alive. Got balls, kid. Should have bailed out, though. Hate to see a good pilot die for no reason. Bye. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, I guess it's the heiress next. Supercharger! Jesus Christ. You know, you just think it's so unfair Understood. the speed that Supercharger can move this guy. Uh, let's just fire. I want to make sure we hit. Oof. Thank you. Thank you very much. And yeah, firing. Roger. Unsteady. He's very unsteady. Um, sure. See ya.
All right, this king crab still very dangerous. Can't be effing around with this guy. Standing by. Uh. Let's move. Gonna wrap this up in short order, I think. Still got the supercharger on. Let's get around to here. Um, yeah, let's bring it around this way. Bring it around town. As Spongebob would say. Order. Uh, let's make sure we turn the supercharger off, though. God, my hands are shaking. Um, I don't think you need to push it. Just stay there. Robin. Let's wait till we get everybody up here. Let's get everybody up here. This guy's got. If this guy still has a pair of AC 20s, it's going to be really dangerous. Don't know what he. If he has Ultra 20s, it's even worse, obviously. Alright, now do we. Are we in strike range? Not even in strike range yet. Um. Let's just okay, sit. Taking a protective stand. Reading you. Order acknowledged. Sneaking up on them. Okay. Should be able to do it now. I'm here. Uh, let's start off with six yeah. pack. Because everybody else, if he can get into range, he can. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh. Yeah, let's go for this leg to start. Completely unsteady. Yeah. Yes, Warlord, and we'll go after the other leg. Because she might be able to... We got hit. We hit both legs. Let's see if we can strip that one leg. Yep, there it goes. Have a seat, buddy. God, good salvage. It was just like giving it to us. Um, yeah, let's do this. There it is, folks. Let's get this stuff and get out of here. Let's get the uh, spy and get out of here. We should let spies get captured more often. That was very fruitful. Very fruitful indeed. Okay, it's a race. Who gets the spy? Who gets the stuffs? Well, sure as hell ain't gonna be Griff. I love that, you know, the dire wolf. I gotta say, for 110 mech, it moves pretty fast. There's the spy. Commander. Thought for a second there it was gonna say, uh. Ah, she's gotta cheat. Come on. Um, I thought for a second it was gonna say, you've got reinforcements inbound. I was going to be like, yay! It's really sad that the heaviest damage we took was like from a ghost or a raptor or something. The asset has been secured and is ready for retrieval. And so is this one. Let's go home, people. Yes, Commander. Second Lance really wants to go. It's been a long time. Secondary asset has been secured. Excellent. Well, Comstar just lost a full lance of assault mechs. And the only thing they have to show for it is a couple of pieces of metal on the ground and some, some uh, Omni-mech footprints, and that's it. That's all I got to show for it. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Okay, Atlas Eris pieces, Godzilla pieces, King Crab pieces, Raptor pieces, because, you know, we really want a Raptor. Uh, and I don't, well, you know... 
I think we should just go for mech parts. I don't really think... Because there's no clan stuff down here. I know this... You know, this exchanger, I'm so up in the air with it. It's great because of the nine, minus 9 heat per, per turn and minus 20% weapon heat generated. But, you know... The clan exchanger is only one ton, and this is three tons, and it's just minus nine heat per minus nine heat per turn, minus fifteen percent heat generated. It gives you a couple of extra free tons. You know, I don't know. It's just not worth going that route. It's the three tons that bothers me. It's great for the inner sphere, but for us, it's not. All right, so there's nothing. Well, this tracker sensor would be nice. Another weapon mount. Ah, you're gonna make me do it. <laughs> Everyone's going, no, no, take the mech pieces, you dumb idiot. And yes, I'm a dumb idiot. I'm taking those. Uh, I think we should go Atlas parts because I'm pretty sure we've got like at least five points, five parts of an Atlas. But the, the King Crab and the Godzilla, I'm not sure off the top of my head if we have any parts of these guys or not. That's what happens when you run more than one series at a time. Let's go Atlas, because I know I do know we have Atlas parts. All right, we only got the two. Eris parts, we got a Godzilla, a couple of King Crab parts. So that actually worked out. We actually got a full Raptor now, which we can sell for sea bills, which is awesome. And a bunch of other stuff we can sell for sea bills. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, double heat sinks. Cool, because we needed these. All right. Ooh, Diamond Shark's still making a lot of, lot of uh, progress here. And Steiner's actually fighting back, which is awesome. All right, so there is the... Raptor? Atlas? Nah. Oh well. Let's go and check how many parts we have though. Let's trash this Raptor. And then we'll see how many parts we can get off the with uh, or how many parts we have of the Atlas. So the Raptor doesn't look like it really has anything else. Patchwork materials, that's good. Everything else is pretty much gone. So let's scrap her. 276,000. Ah, puts us over 2 million. It's fine. So that's okay. Uh, and then, um, no, storage, sorry. I keep doing that. I keep thinking mech components as in mech salvage parts. Uh, assault. And we've got Annihilator. Oh, so that's the Gosszilla. That's the part we just picked up. King Crab parts. So there's the Atlas, two Atlas parts we just picked up there. The S. We got another King Crab. Highlander. I'm sure we had like four Atlas parts. Um, Annihilator. I thought we had Atlas parts. Oh, uh, we got like seven parts of it. this King Crab? Kuroshi. Wow, this is like these are all our assault mech parts. This is insane. Yeah, there it is there. We got four Atlas parts. I thought we had five, but I guess we only had four. I knew we had Atlas parts. Well, that gives us a total of six parts, as long as those are mix and match. Getting darn close though. King Crab here. The O two O, we gotta see if we can get that. Have to, I'll have to try and remember that because we got the King Crab B here. Oh, that's the Behemoth. And this one, the Triple O One. I wonder why it's not. I guess probably one of these is a named mech. Most likely. Anyway, no big deal. All right, let's go look at the contracts here. Let's get our second lance going. It's been a long time since they've gone into battle. Now I'm thinking we're well. What's pull, what's pulling Lynchman's catch capture base? We're going to go with this one. Uh, I like the idea of doing this one. However, this lance really hasn't been tried in quite a while, and I know some of the loadouts in these mechs aren't the best. So this is going to be at least 9 mechs, maybe 10 mechs to fight, and I don't want to be putting them into a situation where they might take severe damage. So let's go with pulling linchpins. Capture bases are usually a little easier. Uh, they are for me anyway. So let's go after this, and then we'll check the map afterwards to see what we've done on this planet. So let's accept this. Probably not a whole hell of a lot, but uh, anything is better than nothing. Yeah, we barely took any damage that last battle. All right, so who are we going to run here? Let's, uh, Hannibal the Cannibal's going to run this Lance. We've got, I'm just going to drop in the pilots here. we got we got Judge, 
Uh, we got. Uh, do we want to run Avalanche? That's really for someone with who's got like a. a Phantom Mac. We don't really have anything that's going to take advantage of that. Well, we do. I mean, the Stormcrow Prime. But I think we want to get Eagle some experience. Let's bring definitely bring Gaucho. Let's bring Eagle. Let's get her some experience. I mean, we've got a couple of pilots here with um, with Juggernaut, which they had when we got them, like Hannibal. Um, but there's not much we can do. So, yeah. Going to go this route. And then we're going to put Hannibal the Cannibal probably. Now, what do we got on this guy? We got three ERPPCs. The Black Knight has got full energy loadout. PPC, two larges, and four mediums, or yeah, four medium pulses. So let's give that to Hannibal, and then let's give uh, Gocho the Mjolnir. Now, this is our Lerm boat, which is like the crazy ass loadout that we decided to go with for the chameleon. Now, I think we're probably going to be giving this to Eagle. Uh, just so that she can stay back. It's not going to give her the best chances to hit. And I think Judge will run the Stormcrow Prime. Um, just just because she has the ability to shoot and, like, shoot and maneuver. And then Warlord to mitigate the heat on it. Um, so let's go this route. Let's see how we do. Alright guys, here we go. Capturing the outpost. Top of the hill. So they're going to get reinforcements afterwards, which is fine. I'm going to sprint up here. Let's get moving. I'm really interested to see how this Battlemaster, or I keep calling it a Battlemaster, but the uh, the Black Knight uh, works out. It just feels like a Battlemaster to me, I guess, with the loadout. But All right, there's our scout, Stormcrow. I should really look at re, re, uh, re-arming that guy. Okay, so we got an arrow and an LR. <laughs> Oh, what a bad loadout in this thing. But why not? I mean, really, just don't target the ground. Don't target the ground, please. Just shoot a mech. I want to shoot our own heads off here. Um, you're the scout, so scout it out for us. There we go. What do we got? Griffin. Barbarian. Another griffin, and there's someone else down here probably. All right, everybody on the barbarian. I hear ya. Let's get the uh, knight up here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Not yet, anyway. Good to go. Well, let's give him the good news. We got 240 rounds. <laughs> what? Do we got swarm as well, don't we? We got thunder. You want thunder? Um. We only got three turns of thunder. Let's go this route. Yeah, he's got a uh, yeah, mask. Not much we can do. Apollo. All right, let's move up the road. They cannot see us. Or can they? Standing by. Well, let's give this guy the what for. Yeah, shooting him. Well, at least he's the point blank version. He's got to get into Melius, basically. Unless he's got the LB20X, which I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Come on, I gotta get that black. Gotta get that black knight a shot.
All right. Let's drop some PPCs on this guy's ass. It's our chance to hit. Let's leave Warlord off for now. Yeah, a little bit of damage. What's up, boss? They got turrets. Shredder. Um. Oof. Really? So one of those two things has got us an AMS, so it's probably the, uh... Ooh. Yes, Extra AMS power there. Let's go right here. Alright, give him the what for. Now we got the tag on him. Hurry for that. I think everybody's shooting the missiles down. Let's all do it, guys! Trying to flank us. He's trying to flank and spank. Uh, let's pull this Griffin out of the battle if we can. Copy that. Wow, chances to hit, man. Negative damage. I can see that. Yeah, those AMS units, man, they're really soaking up all our damage. All their damage, I mean, from us. They just, they, they just, those SRMs can be deadly on these guys, but, uh, not today. Those are the, um, the ones that the Irian, uh, or Iron, or whatever they are, that do the extra damage. Waiting for order. Uh, let's bring the Battlemaster forward. What's up, guys? Now... That's a pretty damn good chance to hit. Time for Warlord. Hammer him. Got it. Yeah, there's a uh, mech over here that needs your attention. Do you mind? Moving out. This guy right here, he's got some. He's getting cheeky on us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Live at the Apollo. Order? Uh, ooh, well, hello there. On my way. Just move walk back into there. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl. Uh, got Inferno ammo. And fast cam. Let's just hit him with normal. Doesn't really matter. Ah, well, he's unsteady. Firing. All right, let's pull this guy out of the battle. Reporting. Critical hit. I think he's got the MRM-20 or something. Or MRM-30, looks like. He's running. He's running. He's like, forget this. Ready for orders. I'm done with this battle. Time to go home. Run home and cry to mommy. Uh, let's give us a multi. Um, no. What's the chance to hit the shredder? 22. 
Doesn't really matter who we shoot at, because it's just like we're not even going to hit anything. Sure. Seventeen out of eighteen hit by the AMS. Coordinates received. Let's finish this guy up, please. See if we can take his head off. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Just He'll take it, but I don't think he's gonna like it very much. Don't think he's gonna like it very much. Wow, it's going to take us all. Oh, come on. Oh. You're going to use up all the AMS ammo just fighting the first lance for crying out loud. Oh, this is painful. Is it now? Is it go time? Is it really? Twenty-two out of thirty hit by the AMS. Talk about nerfing that L that uh, MRM thirty. Hope we go before this griffin. I think he's got his back to us. The battle master's gonna come around there and smoke him. Now nah, he's jumping. Because of course he is. You. What do you think, Earl? Can you finish this guy up? Uh Nope, it's turning our back. Can't do that. I can do this though, I guess. It's going down. See ya. Lost. I think he just lost his ammo. Decided to check out. To He's like, I'm done. Done with the shite. Going home. Yeah, firing. This should be good. Great thing about energy builds is you just take your time. Not to worry about running out of ammo. It's just, you know, slowly march it in. Far away. Take the enemy down. 80%. That's where we're going, right here. Ooh. Say hello to my little PPCs. Yeah, can't do that. Um, can do this though. Well, it's the best chance to hit so far. Gonna leave the arrow off though. We're gonna need it. Let's fire the LRMs for now. Let's see if we can knock him down. Wow. Just stop shooting. <sighs> These guys are fast, though. I'll give it to them. I have to deal with that barbarian in a minute. I think we should be able to pull that Apollo down relatively quick. What can I do for you? Yeah, I can't get him from there. Eh? I can get him from here, though. Yeah, we're on fire. It's fine. We knew we were going to be on fire. 
Let's just hammer this guy. Still going. Want some more, huh? It's gonna have a seat though. Standing by. You know your job. On my way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Two down, two to go. Alright, let's sprint you here. Going full throttle. And we're just gonna hold on for now. Manda. That's a really bad load. I don't know what I, I must have been like. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Good to go. I was thinking, hey, let's have some fun. That should be interesting. Firing on it's like, nope, nope, it's not. Yeah, man. We're eating their AMSs for breakfast. Or their missiles for breakfast, that is. Uh, let's see if we can put this guy's ass on the ground. There we go. Finish this guy up. Then we can deal with this barbarian at range. Like I said, though, we're going to be out of AMS ammo by the time we get to the second uh, on you, second unit here. Jesus. Um, no, we can't be like that. We've got to be like this, though. Let's I'm back it up. Commander. Just torso this guy, we should be able to blow through this center. God, it's friggin' Black Knight. Did you see that? Did you see I saw it. Orders. Energy boat from hell is what that is. Moving to position. Ooh, Warlord confirm. Offensive push, targeting the head and firing. firing. Ah. Couldn't get lucky. Uh, Commander? This guy's giving it to us, so just hammer him. Just shoot him. Shoot him with it all. Yeah, Commander. Yeah, I can see him from there. What the hell? Applying some damage. He's running. Oh, he's not running. Order? Maybe he just can't see us. I don't know why I'm shooting. It's just shooting the missiles down anyway. Yes, Commander. Okay, get rid of this guy, please. Please, please, please. Just finish him off. <laughs> See that piece flying? Solid connection, that one. Sure was. It's going down too. It's just gonna give Hannibal another kill. I hear ya. Finish this guy off for me, will ya? Don't need to tell me twice. Uh, apparently I do. Torso him. Alright, let's get rid of these turrets. Uh, how do we want to do this? I think this side. Holding ass. ass. You bet your asteroid, kid. Double time. Yeah, Commander. I don't know how many. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I don't know how many people have are old enough to remember the uh, the uh, college-made film called Hardware Wars. Done. I think it was in the 80s. Absolutely hilarious film. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you can go online and see it. Um, I'm sure there's a uh, version on YouTube. Hardware Wars. You bet your asteroid, kid. It was done after the first Star Wars movie came out. Way 
Waiting for orders. Uh, well, ooh, okay. Why? Well, hey. We'll take it. Shredder turret, eh? Out of the range for the AC-20, but... Let's just fire. Alright. Let's go, Super Eagle. Get up here. Full speed. No target. Not yet, anyway. I gotta change that loadout, because it really is bad. You'd think I was, like, smoking marijuana or something. It is legal now in Ontario, but, you know. Standing by. <sighs> my way. What can I do for you? Swear to God, the first day, though, it was crazy, the lineups. The government-run weed shop, holy moly. They had like a hot dog stand out front. They had music playing. The lineup basically snaked back and forth. There must have been hundreds of people waiting. There was people waiting there at like 3 o'clock in the morning for the store to open. It was just nuts. You know, I'm not a drug user, but you know what? I think it's one of the best things they ever did was legalizing marijuana here. Oh, come on. Target the LRM turret. There we go. We're heating up, eh? Oh, yeah, because we were in the fire. Doesn't harm anybody, you know. If you're if you're a, if you're a complete abuser of marijuana, anyway, it won't matter if they had government-run marijuana or shops or not. You're gonna find it wherever anyway. You're just gonna buy it off a dealer. So you're better off you're better off just legalizing the damn stuff. It's not like alcohol where it drives people insane to do stupid things, right? Uh, let's not engage this turret just yet. Copy that. Ready for orders. And I say that, uh, you know, I say that from a, 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 um, somebody who abuses alcohol um, standpoint. Like, if you're, if you're an abuser of drugs and stuff, how marijuana and alcohol affects you are two different things. Which is why I said it. I'm not saying, like, you know, the average user of marijuana and alcohol, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. If but it, what what does matter is if you're actually an abuser. It's totally different. So, Jesus, TBM twenty carriers. Good thing we got AMS ammo left. Damn, son. Let's not go through the heat if we can avoid it, eh? Eh? Jeez, that's how you can tell I'm Canadian, eh? Oh jeez, let's get in there. Location confirmed. Jeez, eh? Let's shoot this guy. All weapons are go. Waiting for order. Cannibal, the cannibal. You betcha. Alright, firing. Yeah, this black knight. Liking the loadout. Liking the loadout. It's pretty much what the original Black Knight had, just upgraded with clan tech. Um, let's rain some terror down on this uh, TBM-20 carrier here. Wow, that's not any terror. <laughs> that's not any terror. Uh, let's leave the LRM-20 off. Let's drop some fast game. Maybe we'll do a little bit of damage to everything down there. Ah, a little bit. Yes, Commander. Sprinkle the fast cam. We took minefield damage? What, they laid a minefield? Yeah, Commander. What did they oh I guess they must have Alright. Railgun. Oh shit, this guy's gotta die. Waiting on you, Commander. Got more than enough firepower to take care of this thing though. See ya. Turrets are done.
ready for orders. Position Stay out of the heat. Wow. You want thunder? Roger. Why not? I don't know if we have to actually have to hit to lay the minefield. Or if it just automatically lays it. Order. So there's a minefield right here. Ah! Doesn't matter what I do. Wow, possible damage 25. We took 27. Nice. I'm trying to split up here. Minimize the uh, LRM's effect on all of us. Come on. Gonna attempt to get eyes on with the uh, Storm Crow in a second. Mm, maybe not. Thinking, because then it'll just become a target. See if we can kill this guy. Okay, he's going back over the hill. Oh, he's coming in for a scout mission. It's the death run, Pegasus. Nice. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Receiving you. Um, yeah. Let's not get too close to the edge just yet. Want to split up though. Um. On it. God, it's terrible. Okay, she's running the void system, so they shouldn't be able to see her. Ooh, nice. You know what it is? Is that Pegasus had us had us under the uh, the ECM probably, Good and it enough. moved out of the way and it just basically gave it to us. Let's back up a little bit. Uh -huh. Split our mechs up here a bit, and just fire on this guy. Yeah, this guy's like ECM'd up the wazoo. Ah, there we go. Another hit like that and you're toast. Maybe not totally ECM'd up the wazoo, but... Yes, Commander. Can we... There we go. Eh, I'm firing. On. Ooh, two hits. Yeah, thank you. Nicely done. These guys were supposed to be damaged, by the way. We'll draw the enemy off, and then by that way, by the time they get to you, they'll be damaged. Thanks for fucking helping out. Just leaving us freeborn to do our own thing here. All right, firing. Ah, yeah, eat that. Battle is slowly coming to a close. Let's get you over here. Understood. Cool off a little bit. I'm gonna strike these guys in a second. We just need to get close enough. Uh, you don't even need to move. Um, let's just drop the uh, remaining fast cam. Target acquired. Now, I wonder if those, the fast cam and thunder, if it stacks in the, in the square. Or in the hex, that is. So, you know, the, the minefield possibility grows with each hit. Because it doesn't look like, well, this missile carrier is taking damage. Ah, eh, I don't know. You can't even get in to fight anybody. 
What do you think, Judge? Judge, jury, and LRM vehicle executioner. Yep. All right, Eagle, let's see what you can do with uh, regular ammo here. Oops, normal. Okay. See what we can do. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, not a bad first mission for having a weird ass loadout for a lance. We didn't take any missile damage at all, barely, with those two, with those two advanced AMSs. Mission successful. All right. So not so bad. Not so bad. The <laughs> Black Knight. <laughs> this is loadout. It's just the PPC two large and four medium pulses. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think it was. Um, uh, Fist of Dorn that mentioned kind of a very similar loadout here for the uh, Black Knight, and it's it, I mean we were in a cool environment, so it worked out really well. But I mean we got there. We don't even have the best gear in here either. The rangefinder is kind of nice, but I mean we barely saw any mechs we were fighting against, right? So and it stayed actually pretty cool. We didn't even need the cooling pods at all. So yeah, that I mean that worked out really really well. The Mjolnir underperformed today for some reason. I don't know whether it's the pilot or I don't think it's the pilot. It was just underperforming. And uh, too many fast moving mechs. That was what it was. Stormcrow did okay. He's still having major heat problems. So I'll have to have a re I'll relook at this guy. But um, I think it's I think the exterminator is going to take over for the Stormcrow. Uh, and the reason why it's, I remember why it's in this configuration is because we uh, didn't have the double, I sold all like the uh, intern, like the uh, inner sphere double heat sinks. Cause I figured I wasn't going to use them and then realized I needed them for the exterminator build. Cause it's got the, uh, the built in um, uh, Star League um, cooling system, which gives us, uh, you know, minus 5% cooling and stuff. Right. So I don't want to be uh, putting a regular uh, cooling system in there. All right, so what do we got here? Rainmaker, we've already got. We're not really using it though. Double heatsink kit. We could take that for C bills. NSS. Got lots of. Prototype double heatsinks. Always a win. Tracker sensors. Always a win. Starting to slowly get some stuff back that we've uh, lost over time here. Any good LRM ammo? Thunder improved. Oh, incendiary. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Double heat sink kit. Oh, wait, is there double heat sinks? Did we see any double heat sinks? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Uh, 300 core. We've got like three of them still. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could sell it. For the sea bills, but I'd rather take stuff that we might be using in the future. I mean, we, maybe if I take a griffin part, we might actually pull off a griffin, which we could sell. So let's do that, see how it works. And we did. There we go. One, two, three, four, five griffin parts. We got ourselves a griffin, picked up a regular AMS, SRM6 Valiant, a couple of Thunderbolt 20s, which we're, I don't think we're ever going to use, but a couple of more cockpit mods. Or, yeah, it's not bad. TSM. Okay, cool. We got two, three of these already anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal. Yeah, all right. So, not too bad. All right. Um, let's see here. Mm, a lot of back and forth going on. Uh, there's the Griffin. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. I think we're just going to sell it. We have all, we still have all our Omnimex. So there's, and there's no reason to keep that 55 tonner. Uh, let's have a look here. I think what we're going to do, I'll tell you here in a second. So let's have a look at this guy. Oh, it looks like he's got a few things left on him. Both arms are missing, though. Not a big deal. Well, <laughs> NSS, Endo Steel, Fire Control System Approved, Jump Jets, Patchwork Materials, that's good. 
Uh, XL Gyro. All right. Yeah, not so bad. So let's just trash him. We'll get all this stuff in our uh, in our uh, bay. Come on, here we go. What are we gonna get for this guy? Six hundred fifty-seven thousand. Not bad. Because what I want to do, I think, we're gonna sell the Black Knight. We're gonna sell this guy. Because what I want to do is, I want this exterminator is being wasted with what we have on it right now. It's a complete waste of a mech. And I totally knew that when I built it. Um, but I needed to get something in for the land. So what I'm going to do uh, is we'll let we'll leave it as is for now. But I'm going to bring forward. Let's go to heavy. I'm going to bring forward a catapult. So let's ready this guy. And I'm basically going to turn this into our missile mech because well, obviously, right? And let's sell this Black Knight. Uh, it's, I mean, let's have one final look at it before we do anything. But really, what we're going to do, I mean, it's like five wasted tons here, right? I mean, it's still a nice mech, but we're not, we're never doing melee. So let's just get rid of it. Um, we had, we got rid of the Red Reaper too. But it would have been nice if we were, if we were an inner sphere group, it would have been nice to have the double Black Knights melee and then the one fire support black knight but yeah you know no big deal so we're gonna get the catapult outfitted um with missiles to replace the exterminator the exterminator is going to get outfitted to replace the storm crow prime and then we'll have the black knight the mjolnir um the exterminator and the catapult is the second lance i think that's how we're going to run it uh so we're just going to sell this guy we're going to need the uh, sea bills anyway um Scrapping and selling it's the same. So just scrap. We'll get our uh, core back Or our engine back that is and yeah, so I'll load out that catapult. We got enough C bills here uh, Like if we go let's manage our tasks real quick. Let's get this catapult up to the top Within the first couple of days. Yeah, these are gonna go fast. Uh, let's bring the black cat up Let's see if we can manage this so it's way better here catapult then we'll go meal near Right, so these are all done in three, and then these guys take two more days. Yeah, so that's fine. We'll go one day here. Just to get our catapult back. Just so I want to I just want to see really quickly how much it's gonna cost. I think it's like 1.4 to put an XL engine in this in this thing. It's got plenty of hard points too, which is the other thing. These these C twenty ones are nice because uh, they've got the four missile hard points plus two ballistic and two, uh, or sorry, four laser hard points. So, you know, so we'll do max the armor out. It's only 39,000, which is pretty good. Eight days, though, to, to max out the armor. And then um, go here and we'll put in the. Uh, where are you here? No, that's at the bottom. No, where the hell is it? I'm just blind. Oh, excellent. Durr. There it is. All right. Yeah, 1.4. So it's not so bad. And nine days. So we're going to confirm this. Let's just drop it in for now. Get that up and running. And we'll work on it next episode probably. Because um, I don't think it'll be back between episodes. But definitely next episode. Uh, while our two Lancers are fighting again. Um, we'll get that laid out so that by the time the... Uh, the two lances are back again we'll have that mech up and running and then we'll just leave the storm crow prime uh in the lineup still too just it's nice as a little backup mech i mean it's not like you know it's not an amazing mech but it's nice as a quick replacement we can just drop down a half a skull rating with that thing in the lineup and still be fine so yeah so i'm gonna leave the episode there i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like um if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below like i said uh, i'm going to be alternating nights just for the next little bit between um falcon freeborn and uh, night witches so tomorrow will be night witches um and once i get back to having a have a having a half decent amount of time in the evenings to be able to do two again i will definitely be doing that so i'm looking forward to that again because uh, i really i really am having fun now that we've uh, got some pretty nice mech lineups in both uh, series. So, um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you all later.